Hi, thank you for signing up one of my packages. I'm so excited that you're on this fitness journey to reaching your whatever your fitness goal is. I'm here with you. All right, so in this video, there are important messages that I want to pass it to you before we start training. There are five things. The first one is core. Throughout the videos, throughout the exercises video, you will hear me keep saying, engage your core, suck, your, suck in your belly button into your spine, uh, brace your core, things like this. You will hear me keep saying this. Why? Because core is very important. Core, core is the center of your mass, your center of your body. Core protects your spine, especially your low back spine, the lumbar spine, it protects your spine. Core, main, uh, core keep you maintain your posture so that you don't hunch over, you have a straight, you know, chest is up, things like this. So core is very important. And throughout the exercises, you will have to engage your core. And I have to caution, caution you to give you like a heads up. You might feel tired when you're using your core because we are so not used to using that muscle. So for sometimes, if you keep using your core, you might feel uncomfortable. But after some time, when you are so get used to it, you don't even feel feel like you're using your core. Even in the living room watching TV, you're engaging your core, you don't even realize it because you're so used to it. So, of course, the first step is always the important one and also the challenging one, right? But you still have to do it because you're already signed up one of my packages. All right, so the next thing is, okay, um, I, I'm gonna give you an example how, how core feels like. It's just something as simple as this. If you are just sitting down there watching this video or standing up, doesn't matter, you just suck it in your belly button while you can still keep breathing normally. This is how you engage your core. So you suck it in your belly button, you feel that your abs, your belly is tight, right? And you can keep breathing normally. So this is how you engage your core. This is how you put less stress on your lumbar spine. Whatever activities you're doing that require to bend over or whatever. All right, so you can try it yourself. All right, the next thing is, um, form is very important in whatever exercise that I'm going to give you, all right, in whatever exercises that you're going to do. I know that I am not there because I am not there to guide you in person on a spot when you're doing the exercise or throughout the workout session. So you have to be mindful of your movement and also your body. You have to listen and feel the muscle feel your body and the movement because you will do certain exercises consistently and you will always come back to this same movement and same exercise so I want you to recognize and get familiarized with how you're supposed to feel because I, I cannot tell you you're supposed to feel this way when I am not inside your body right so you have to pay attention to your body and the muscle that you are contracting or working. And of course, don't push too hard. The number one prior priority is your form. Let's say there is one exercise that you cannot do, but you know it is challenging because, right, you have to modify it, use the modified version of the, the exercise that the exercise that you think is challenging for you. Don't push too hard because you don't want to hurt yourself. You might not see it. You might think that, um, well, it's not doing anything. It's not hurting me. But in the long run, you will feel the effect because you put stress on your body where you're not supposed to. Okay, when you're not supposed to. 
So don't push too hard. And if you cannot do the exercise, you let me know. That's why I'm here. And all right, so exercise, um, water is very important. It doesn't matter where you exercise, at the gym, at home, or outdoor. You always have to have a bottle of water with you to keep you hydrated, okay? And also, it doesn't matter where you work out, at, at home especially, or outdoor, you have to wear the appropriate sportswear. Even if you work out at home, in your living room, or in a kitchen, or in, in your bedroom, you still have to wear sports shoes. Because sports shoes allow you to move, move freely and move more um, so that you don't injure yourself. The bottom line is just so that you don't injure yourself. Okay, so wear sportswear, uh, wear sport, sports shoes, wear uh, shirts or pants or uh, your leggings that you feel comfortable in that doesn't restrict your movement. All right, so. Well, that's it for now, okay? This is just a small messages and introduction video before we start training. All right, so I am excited for you and I really hope that I am holding your hand to guide you, to be there, to support you, to reach you whatever your fitness goal is, okay? So, well, let's see your first exercise.